gatefolds and how to apply or make one within Adobe InDesign. So before we begin, go to Workspace, make sure we're on Essentials and Reset Essentials. Close in any windows that may pop up. If we go to File, Open, and we want to open the Gate InDesign file. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit using the zoom tool, holding down my Alt key and clicking on the keyboard. Clicking on the screen rather. Now, what I want to do is add a gate here and one here, i.e. the front and back of the gate. Now it's going to contain a free promo of a ticket that you can rip out of the magazine. Most gatefolds are larger and they would contain like a big landscape picture. So you would open the magazine, fold open the gate and have a big spread picture. Also very commonly used in um, LPs, etc. Now before we start doing all this, if we open our pages palette, and we've already looked at deleting and creating new pages, one we've got here is edit page size, which we'll be looking at at a moment. But what we want to do is drag our page up to here. But if we try doing that now, all it's going to do is start shuffling the pages around. That's not what we want to happen. So I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. I'm going to go up to this little hidden menu, the More Options button, and do Allow Document Pages to Shuffle, turn that off. Now I'm going to select page 4 itself, make sure it's just page 4 I have selected. If you find you've got a spread selected, just click off so they deselect and then select the page you actually want. I'm going to drag page 4 up to here. Now that would put it into or move these pages around. If I put it right on the edge, you see you get a different symbol and we can let go. And that will actually add it as a gate. And the same with page 5, we're going to stamp it down below. Now these pages are too big because I just want them to contain just a small little gate for some tickets. So I'm going to have one of them selected. I'll have this one selected. So I've got it selected in my palette. And I'm going to use this button to edit page size. Now I'm going to do a custom page size. I'm going to call it gate ticket. And I'm going to leave the height as is but change the width to 40 millimeters and do OK. Now we've done it once, we've got a preset ready for it, so we can select page, which page will that be? Page 5 gate, and we can select the edit page size. Remember, we made it a gate ticket, so we select that, and it resizes that page. There's some finishing touches just to see what it actually looks like. I'm actually going to go to File, Place, Make sure I've got replace the set. Make sure, sorry, I have to replace selected item turned off, and select the free tickets .jpg. I'm going to place a copy in here, and I'm going to do a quick copy and paste. This is my selection tool to move it down here. So now, if you print this off, you give this gate fold that you'd flap or fold into the magazine. So when the magazine is being viewed normally, it looks normal, but when they get to that page, they can see these tickets will fold out and they can rip them off without destroying the magazine. That is a simple gate fold.